What's good guys and welcome to the trading journal here at Elementary FX. For this episode, we'll be going through a buying opportunity that we took on the USD franc. However, before we analyze that trade, I just want to go through the daily market analysis that we did on Monday. And uh, if you've seen the video, you'll know that we identified a potential godly pattern setting up. We have our X to A, our A to B, our B to C right here and CD coming right in this zone in yellow. However, as you can see from the chart price, price pushed down uh, close to our ELIC, therefore invalidating this Gartley pattern. So back to the trade, when, when, uh, when I took this trade, price was around here. Price was around here. So the thought process behind this trade was that I was trying to buy up this, um, this pair into completion of the pattern. And uh, so this would be a purely structure-based trade. As you can see, I identified this zone in yellow right here because you can see that we have very nice support, 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 support. We have resistance, resistance, resistance. And um, previously we have had some resistance and support right here. So as you, as you can tell, this would be a very good, a very decent zone for entry. So let's uh, zoom into the earlier time frames, to the shorter time frames to see the analysis behind this trade. So when price was, was in this zone in, um, in yellow right here, this one right here, I set my sell limit at um, this zone right here because I was uh, more conservative. I was waiting for price to push down past this level of structure. So I set my sell limit, I think it was uh, 00281. And as you can see, price pushed down into my zone, came up, pushed down before going down some more. Um, the, the only thing I can think about this trade is that price wasn't looking for support at this area right here it was looking for support at the next closest uh, form of structure which was this one as you can see price came into this zone from a very bearish move before bouncing off very nicely so the only mistake that i made was i identified the wrong area of um support in this case this would have been this zone right here would have been a better place for entry let me just remove that for you. As you can see, price entered this, this zone with this uh, wick right here, a uh, rejection wick, that's why I like to call it, before making its way up. <clears throat> so when, it, when, the price, when price made its way up, uh, we had a bit of a retracement, and as you can see, I identified that there was a potential bullish flag forming. We have our pole right here, and then we have our flag. flag. We're just waiting for a breakout towards the upside because naturally this is what... Uh, bullish flag is likely to do uh let's just uh, go through this uh, trade a few candles by a few candles so uh price managed to push um push the trade up into break even before being about 20 pips up and at the point of 20 of being 20 pips up this red line right here served as my um it served as my stop loss i moved my stop loss to break even at first before i moved it up to 10 pips so as you can see price did this Came out a bit before stopping me out for about 10 pips and now it's just consolidating around this area so this trade we had a target of about 54 pips with a stop of about i think it's about 30 pips so there was a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.8 so it's a decent risk to reward ratio considering that price has been quite bullish uh, recently and also keeping in mind that we have a potential pattern completion coming in this zone right here so unfortunately, I was stopped out for 10 pips. Um, I'll take 10 pips any day over a small size loss. So that's, uh, that's the only positive of this trade besides being stopped out. Uh, the, only, the other positive that I can take was uh, the mistake I made. Uh, I could have taken, I could have taken um, the trade at this zone right here and had about more than, more than 25 pips instead of, of, of our 10 pips that we have now. So this has been the review of the USD franc trade uh, that we took yesterday. I will definitely keep you guys posted on the daily market analysis that will be posted out in the next few hours. So thank you for joining me guys and I'll see you in the next video.